I'm Ralph Grizzle, the avid cruiser. For more than two decades, I've cruised the seven seas on some of the world's most luxurious ships. I write about my experiences on avidcruiser.com. My goal is to help people like you make informed decisions about your cruise vacations. Join me today in an exciting new mini-series as I explore the most popular cruise destinations around the world. My name is Ralph Grizzle, and I am the Avid Cruiser. Today we're in Corfu and we're on a quest. We're searching for a special liqueur that's cultivated from a fruit found here on the island. Before we begin that quest, we're going to do some fun things. We're going to go mountain biking in beautiful countryside, we're going to go off-roading in jeeps, and we're going to visit a gorgeous villa. We're also going to spend some time visiting the UNESCO-designated Old Town of Corfu itself. We've got a lot to do, so let's get going. Corfu felt to me a little like Italy. There's a reason the Venetians occupied the island for nearly four centuries. I felt their influence in the dialect, the cuisine, and some of the architecture. The French and the British were here too, and what I experienced on my visit was a mix of cultures all overlaid on the best of Greek culture. In the UNESCO-recognized Old Town, I wanted to try Corfu's famous kumquat liqueur, and I found a shop where I could sample it for free and buy a bottle to take home. Kumquats were brought here by the Chinese and cultivated by the people of Corfu. I sampled kumquat candy, kumquat jelly, and of course, kumquat liqueur. It tasted a little like cough syrup, but good nonetheless. For me, there are few things in life that can beat biking with friends. And when the weather is good, as it always seems to be in Corfu, and you add in that gorgeous landscape, you have a day that feels like you're pedaling through paradise. That's how I felt as we pedal well-maintained bikes along roads without a lot of traffic. Biking in Corfu is a fun and an active way to explore the island. For my next adventure, I changed two wheels for four. Behind the wheel of a 4x4, four four, I passed through some of Corfu's most charming villages, and sometimes on roads that didn't seem a lot like roads. With the top down, it was fun to maneuver the 4x4 four four around the hairpin turns and along the beautiful narrow roads. The driving was exhilarating, and the landscape was gorgeous, a fun and fast way to see the best of Corfu. Before leaving Corfu, I visited a beautiful villa that was home to Empress Elizabeth of Austria. She had the Achilleon Palace built in 1890 to reflect her admiration of the Greek god Achilles. He was the hero of the Trojan War and the central character in Homer's Iliad. The villa and the gardens provide rare glimpses into the lavish lifestyles of the early 20th century rulers. Corfu offers a variety of experiences, from exploring its local customs and culture to getting out into its gorgeous countryside to breathe in the best that the island has to offer. We had a great time in Corfu. We participated in some active shore excursions, mountain biking and four-wheel off-roading. We visited a beautiful palace and wandered the UNESCO-designated old town of Corfu itself. And we found the Kumquat liqueur. We sampled and enjoyed that. I'm Ralph Grizzle, and I'll see you in the next beautiful destination.